NASA has discovered a super Earth that could have conditions to sustain life. The new exoplanet is 137 light years away, or about roughly 800 trillion miles. Astronomers say the planet is about one and a half times the size of Earth and orbits a small reddish star that is cooler than our sun. An amazing discovery by NASA to tell you about. The space agency says it has found what it's calling Earth's cousin, the most similar planet to our own they've ever found. And as NBC's Peter Alexander reports, it's generating a lot of excitement about the possibility of life far, far away. The most Earth-like planet ever found. Its official name, Kepler 452b. It makes me feel like there really is a solar system like our solar system out there. There really is another Earth out there. Yeah. But now NASA may have found the real deal, already nicknamed Earth 2.0. That's us on the left, our bigger, older cousin on the right, but not exactly next door. 1400 light years away, spotted by the powerful Kepler telescope. Like Earth, the new planet orbits a sun-like star. It's what astronomers call a Goldilocks planet. Not too cold, not too hot to hold water needed to sustain life. Nobody knows if life is actually there or even what the Kepler planet looks like, but one artist has already taken a stab. And the timing's good. Just this week, renowned physicist Stephen Hawking himself announced a $100 million hunt for alien life. It seems quite likely that life is out there. And last week, NASA mesmerized us with this unprecedented picture of Pluto, our best look yet. With more than a thousand confirmed planets out there, likely billions more, at least one that might look like home. The discovery of this planet is a milestone in the search for worlds similar to ours. For a start, it's only about 60% bigger, and its orbit takes 385 days, not much more than ours. And crucially, that orbit takes it just the right distance from its star for water to exist at its surface, the so-called habitable zone. The James Webb Telescope recently made a discovery that totally shocked scientists. This find has got everyone asking, could there be life on other planets? The telescope was focusing on Kepler 442b, a fascinating exoplanet that is about 1,206 light years away from Earth when it spotted something strange. It was giving off unusually bright lights, almost like the glow of city lights. But what could be causing these lights on Kepler 442b? Could this be a sign that life exists beyond Earth? City lights in space. People have been wondering about life in space for ages, and scientists have been searching for any kind of proof for years. We've always been fascinated by the idea that we might not be alone in the universe. The idea of finding signs of life outside our solar system seemed like something straight out of science fiction, but now it's getting closer to reality. This discovery has everyone excited and curious to know more. The thought that there might be living beings out there is thrilling, and any evidence that suggests it's true has been welcomed with open arms. What makes this even more incredible is how unexpected it was. The team working with the James Webb Telescope wasn't planning on discovering city lights in space, especially not from a star system that's so far away. This breakthrough is a huge deal because it's one of the first solid signs that life could exist elsewhere. For years, scientists have been waiting for something like this, a solid, tangible sign that life could be out there. And now, it seems like we're closer than ever to understanding whether we're alone in the universe or if there's something more out there. If it turns out that these lights are actually coming from an intelligent civilization, it would mean that societies in space could be way different from anything we've ever known. The thought of civilizations out there, just waiting for us to discover them, is both thrilling and mind-blowing. The idea that these city lights have been sitting there for who knows how long, waiting for the right technology to spot them, is almost unbelievable. NASA engineers, when they saw these lights from over a thousand light years away, couldn't help but wonder just how long they've been shining. How long have these mysterious lights been visible but unnoticed until now? It really makes you think about the vastness of space and how much we still have yet to discover. David Kipping a scientist at Columbia University, explained that Kepler 442b is difficult to understand, especially with the strange city-like lights. The heating patterns on this planet don't match those on other known worlds, which only adds to the mystery. It's unlike anything we've seen before. 
The fact that these lights seem to indicate some kind of civilization challenges everything scientists thought they knew about planets and life beyond Earth. If these lights are indeed from an advanced civilization, it opens up a whole new chapter in space exploration. Exploring Kepler 442b. Kepler 442b is a super-Earth that is about 1.34 times the size of our planet. It orbits a K-type orange dwarf star, which provides just the right amount of energy for it to potentially support liquid water. Scientists have long considered it one of the most promising exoplanets for habitability. Unlike many other exoplanets discovered, Kepler 442b has a high probability of being rocky, which increases the chances of it having an Earth-like environment. It's well known that most rocky planets take in sunlight and release infrared energy, but Kepler 442b is different. Its infrared signature doesn't match what scientists expected from a planet orbiting its star. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope came in. It was the perfect tool to study this strange planet. The telescope is equipped to capture infrared light, and that's exactly what it did. Kepler 442b's unique heat signature could reveal a lot about its atmosphere, and scientists are eager to dig into that mystery. Infrared bands are one of the telescope's specialties. It can detect heat that's invisible to the human eye, and it's especially good at picking up on things like the temperature of distant planets. This technology is a game changer because it helps scientists study planets that are so far away we can't physically visit them. Kepler 442b which is located around 1,206 light years away from Earth, is an ideal candidate for this kind of research. By examining its heat signature, the telescope could uncover details about the planet's atmosphere, what it's made of, how thick it is, and whether it could support life. This is important because Kepler 442b is in the habitable zone of its star, meaning it could potentially have conditions that allow for liquid water, a key ingredient for life. Scientists are particularly curious about whether this planet could sustain life, so they're hoping the infrared data from the telescope will help them figure that out. If Kepler 442b has an atmosphere that could support life, it would be a huge step forward in the search for life beyond Earth. The telescope's advanced infrared imaging could give us a clearer picture of whether there's a chance for humans or other life forms to one day visit or even live on this extrasolar world. Future of Planet Exploration Even though the James Webb Space Telescope is amazing at describing the atmospheres of distant planets, it has its limitations. One of the biggest challenges is that it's not great at detecting bound oxygen, which is a key indicator of life. Oxygen in a planet's atmosphere could suggest the presence of living organisms, so it's something scientists are especially eager to find. But even with this limitation, the telescope can still search for other signs of life, like ozone. Ozone is another important marker because, like oxygen, it's often associated with biological processes on Earth. If Kepler 442b does have an atmosphere, the next step is to study its chemistry. Gases like oxygen, water vapor, and methane are key indicators that a planet could support life. These elements are essential for life as we know it, and their presence would suggest that the planet has conditions that might make it livable. But finding these gases isn't easy. Scientists have to pay very close attention as they record and study light rays passing through the planet's atmosphere. By analyzing how the light changes as it moves through the atmosphere, they can figure out what gases are present. The discovery of potential artificial lights on Kepler 442b is just the beginning. Scientists and space agencies worldwide will now be focusing on gathering more data and developing future missions that could help confirm whether intelligent life exists on this distant world. If this turns out to be true, it will be one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in human history. As technology continues to improve, telescopes like James Webb and future space observatories will help us uncover even more secrets of the cosmos. Who knows? The next great discovery might not just be proof of life, but an actual message from an alien civilization. And if that happens, it will change everything we know about our place in the universe. When sunlight passes through the layers of an atmosphere, the atoms and molecules in the atmosphere absorb the light in different ways. This light is broken up into wavelengths, 
And by studying these wavelengths through spectroscopic research, scientists can figure out what the light tells them about the planet. It's kind of like how a fingerprint can uniquely identify a person, but instead, the light gives us clues about the planet's atmosphere. People often think the new space telescope will mostly be able to pick up light from stars as it interacts with the planet's atmosphere. What's exciting is that this telescope might just be the key to figuring out what exactly those atmospheres are made of. For planets roughly the size of Earth, it's common to find gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and oxygen in their atmospheres, and these elements could suggest that life, like what we have on Earth, could exist there. However, it's also possible that if these planets lack certain chemicals, it could mean that life on those planets might be completely different from ours. One interesting thing scientists are looking for is man-made chemicals like chlorofluorocarbons, which are used in cooling and industrial processes here on Earth. If the telescope happens to detect chlorofluorocarbons in the atmosphere of an exoplanet, it could be a huge indicator that there are advanced societies out there beyond our solar system. This would be a game changer, as it would offer solid evidence that intelligent life exists elsewhere in the universe, possibly in civilizations much older and more advanced than our own. The idea of life beyond Earth is often tied to biology as we know it, which typically focuses on the idea that life thrives in temperate areas with Earth-like conditions. But the truth might be way more complicated than that. For example, extremophiles, organisms, mostly bacteria, that can live in harsh, extreme conditions, are pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible for life. These hardy organisms, known as extremophiles, are pretty incredible. They can live and thrive in conditions that would make humans cringe. For example, they can survive in environments as hot as 250 degrees Celsius, and in places where the pH is so low, it's nearly acidic enough to burn your skin. The fact that these organisms can not only survive, but actually grow and multiply in such extreme conditions shows just how adaptable life can be. They're a perfect example of how life can endure even the harshest environments, and this opens up a whole new way of thinking about the possibility of life in the universe. Considering how huge the universe is, with so many different types of environments, it's clear that our search for life beyond Earth needs to be wide and varied. It's not just about finding planets that are exactly like Earth. Planets that resemble Earth and orbit stable stars like our Sun are ideal places to study. But scientists are also starting to think about exploring planets around other types of stars, like red dwarfs. Red dwarf stars are really common in the universe. And even though they're cooler and not as bright as our Sun, they still offer a lot of potential for discovering life. These stars have incredibly long lifespans, which means they give plenty of time for planets around them to evolve and possibly develop life. This opens up a whole new area of study for scientists. One of the most promising exoplanets for potential habitability is Kepler 442b. This exoplanet, located approximately 1,206 light years away from Earth in the constellation Lyra, is classified as a super Earth. Kepler 442b is about 1.34 times the size of Earth and has a mass that suggests it is a rocky planet. What makes it particularly exciting is that it orbits its host star in the habitable zone, meaning it receives just the right amount of sunlight to potentially support liquid water on its surface. Kepler 442b's parent star, Kepler 442, is a K-type main sequence star, which is slightly cooler and smaller than our Sun. This means that Kepler 442b experiences a more stable environment compared to planets orbiting more volatile red dwarfs. The light from Kepler 442 is not as intense as the sun's, but it still provides enough energy to support a climate that might be suitable for life. Scientists estimate that Kepler 442b receives about two-thirds of the sunlight Earth gets, which could allow for moderate temperatures and the presence of liquid water if the planet has a suitable atmosphere. Another fascinating aspect of Kepler 442b is its potential climate. If it has an atmosphere similar to Earth's, it could have a range of environments, from oceans to land masses, with temperatures that might be suitable for life. Scientists are particularly interested in understanding whether Kepler 442b has a strong magnetic field, 
which could help protect its atmosphere from cosmic radiation. This would be crucial for maintaining an atmosphere that could support life. One of the biggest questions is whether Kepler 442b is tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its star while the other remains in perpetual darkness. If it is, the planet could experience extreme temperature differences between its day and night sides. However, if it has an atmosphere that can distribute heat effectively, it might still maintain a habitable environment. Unlike some other exoplanets, Kepler 442b does not face the same high levels of radiation as planets orbiting red dwarf stars, making it a better candidate for long-term habitability. The presence of water, a stable climate, and protection from harmful radiation would make it one of the best places to look for alien life. Although Kepler 442b is far away, future telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, might be able to analyze its atmosphere and detect possible biosignatures, such as oxygen or methane. If signs of life are found, it would be one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in human history, proving that life exists beyond our solar system. Scientists are eager to continue studying Kepler 442b and other exoplanets like it. The search for life is just beginning, and each new discovery brings us closer to answering one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.